Hello everyone, welcome to Spirit Field Sunday. So today I'm going to pull some general energy to see what spirit needs you to know. Um, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. As it is general, not every message will apply, just take what does and leave the rest. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap in. This could be past, present, future tense. It's going to be different for everyone. So let's tap in. Spirit, give me some energy for... The collective spirit field messages. What do you want them to know? What do you want the collective to know? Okay, I have the six of pentacles in the moon. So we have cancer, Pisces energy. Some of you could have that highly aspected bottom of the deck, the four of swords. So for some of you, you could be praying for some type of change. That's what I'm getting for something to transpire your praying for a transition in your life um for some of you this is concerning your finances something could be going on with work i'm hearing a foreman i'm hearing operation so for some of you you could work in the construction industry you can do manual labor let's go ahead and tap in i'm hearing back breaking labor i'm actually seeing someone with a back brace on spirit give me an energy for the six of pentacles and the moon why is the six of pentacles and the moon here I have the Seven of Wands. Tell me more. And I have the Two of Swords and the Two of Cups in the reverse. So the number two, 22 could be significant. So for some of you, there's somebody trying to stop you from receiving something here. For some of you, like I said, this is related to finances. Um, Somebody wants to block you financially it's like somebody's praying on your downfall they don't want to see you be abundant they don't want to see you level up they don't want to see you be favored in a situation now for others of you this has to do with a love situation for some of you though i feel like with the two of cups in reverse this is a friend like a fake friend i'm hearing child so for some of you this could be a childhood friend but yeah it's like somebody doesn't have the best intentions for you and i feel like this person is going to be exposed it's like somebody's been planning plotting against you for a very long time for some of you i'm hearing like even exchange this person could have even paid to have some type of spiritual work done against you i'm hearing not to be trusted i'm hearing no one so for some of you you may be in the energy of just pulling back from a lot of people you may feel like there's a certain group or a particular person that's kind of giving you a strange vibe. Go with that. Trust your intuition. Even though you may not be able to see something in the physical, just know that God sees all. And, you know, your intuition is your GPS, is your internal compass. So follow that. Give me an energy for the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? for the collective yeah it's like somebody's praying like praying against you i have the three of pentacles for some of you this could be somebody that you work with like i said somebody don't want you to receive something to be gifted something an opportunity don't want to see you get a raise they don't want to see you level up give me another message for the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here for the collective what is the energy why is the seven of wands here Five of Pentacles. Somebody wants to see you broke. They do. They want to see you destitute. They want to see you go without. They don't want to see your life balance out. For some of you, you could be going through a hard time right now with this Five of Pentacles. And they don't want to see you go into the Six of Pentacles. They don't want to see your life come into balance. They don't want to see things um, restored for you. Give me an energy for the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for the collective? What is the energy? Why is the Three of Pentacles here for the collective? What is the energy spirit? The Four of Swords. I feel like somebody's in regret or they will be for the action that they took against you. For some of you, this could be somebody that you were married to and a higher level of commitment with. For some of you, this person wants to reconcile. But this is somebody that's been trying to like hold up your finances or just make it challenging for you overall. Give me an energy for the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for the collective? What is the message? Why is the Three of Pentacles here for the collective? What is the energy? Page of Cups. I feel like 
like this person accepted an offer that they regret. Somebody regrets listening to someone, trusting someone, accepting advice from someone. Give me an energy for the five of... Thank you, Spirit. So for some of you, this person received some type of advice to leave you out in the cold, to walk away from you, not to give to you, not to reciprocate, not to balance out a situation, and they listen to it. It's like somebody accepted advice pertaining to you that would only create blockages, delays. Give me an energy for the Five of Pentacles. And this person feels like a fool for listening to it. I have the seven of pentacles in the moon. It's like somebody is secretly waiting. Secretly waiting and watching. Whoever this page of cups energy is, this is somebody that don't like you. Who turned this person against you. Tell me more about the seven of pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for the collective? What is the energy? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for the collective? The hangman. Somebody's stuck. Heavy Pisces energy. It's almost like whoever did something towards you is in this hangman position. Whoever this Page of Cups energy is wanted to make sure that whatever this masculine or feminine did pertaining to you, they will never be able to come back from it. They'll be in hangman. So they can't rectify the situation with you. Give me an energy. Like, yeah, this is somebody that had like hidden intentions, secret motives. Give me an energy for the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here for the collective? What is the energy? For some of you, this is somebody that wanted to cause a disruption in your partnership, your relationship, Five of Swords. I feel like now this person sees that whoever this energy is was just in competition with you. But for some of you, it's like too little, too late. Give me an energy for the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here for the collective? What is the message? The Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this has to do with love. A love offer. Somebody wanting to compete for a connection. And it's almost like they were determined. Eight of Swords to the Ace of Cups. It's giving me this person wouldn't give up until he or she got what they wanted. I have the Page of Swords. I feel like this person watched and waited to see how things played out. And with the Five of Swords to the Page of Swords, it's giving me Six of Swords energy. This is somebody that wanted to act like they didn't have anything to do with what was going on, but they were actually the person that started it. It's kind of like throw a rock and hide your hand energy. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. But this is somebody that had beef with you, wanted to compete with you. But wanted to act innocent in the situation. Why is the Ace of Cups here? <laughs> Karmic. Somebody toxic. Capricorn energy. For some of you, this person um, could be a Capricorn. It's like, I'm hearing like toxic love. That's the only thing this person has to offer is toxic love. Like... A partnership that is very low vibrational is unhealthy. If anything, this person is just going to learn some major life lessons. It could be very emotionally draining as well. A lot of frustration. Somebody feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Give me an energy for the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here for the collective? What is the energy? Why is the Eight of Swords here for the collective? What is the energy spirit? Mm, the lovers. 
Oh, wow. Gemini energy. So listen, collective. So what this is giving me is with this devil to the ace of cups, it was a lot of overindulgence when it came to this partnership. Whatever this masculine or feminine energy strongholds were, whether it was passion, substances, it was a lot of it done to keep a grip on this person. Like this karmic knew what he or she was doing to hold on to this energy and to make this person believe that they were in fact the ace of cups and not you and to make you come out as someone that would only bind this person up have them stagnated have them feeling stuck confused it wasn't fun over there where you are because you weren't offering this person toxicity you weren't trying to have this masculine or feminine engage in low vibrational activities things that would keep them in bondage you were actually offering true love companionship soulmate energy but somebody wanted to make it thank you spirit somebody wanted to make it look like it was boring over there where you were like you were boring, you were no fun. It's it's fun over here because we we overindulge and things that's not for your highest good, but it's still fun. You know, you can have intimacy as much as you want, substances as much as you want, like whatever this person's strongholds were. This karmic offered it and offered a lot of it all the time just to keep this person hung up, keep this person confused, keep this person stuck in the same cycle. So this masculine and feminine then realized, no, you were actually in the eight of swords already by dealing with this karmic. You had separated yourself from the ace of cups. You walked away from your ace of cups to go into bondage, eight of swords. But somebody wanted to paint themselves like they were a soulmate. Yes, a karmic soulmate. There were a lot of soul ties de developed in this other connection. Because somebody didn't know how to resist temptation. Because it, it, it just looked better. It looked prettier. It was more fun over there. Give me an energy for the Two of Cups. I have the four of wands. Yeah. Somebody got into the wrong partnership. For some of you, they married this person, live with this energy. Tell me more about the two of cups in the reverse. The will of fortune, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy is not balanced. For some of you, these people don't really have anything in common. Just this devil energy, these toxicities, that's it. That's what started the relationship and that's what's maintaining the relationship. Give me an energy for the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here for the collective? What is the energy? Why is the four of wands here for the collective? What is the energy? Six of pentacles. Yeah, but that's what this person chose to give to, invest in. Like I said, somebody's blinded because they're operating at a very low vibration. They don't have to change. They don't have to do the work. They don't have to ascend. They can continue the party lifestyle. They don't have to, you know, I'm hearing upgrade. They don't have to work on themselves. It's easier. They can settle. That's what this person is doing, settling. Or this could be you. Take it as it resonates. Give me an energy for the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Five of Wands. And the star. This person's life is fated to have nothing but conflict and drama. It don't matter how much this masculine or feminine tries to heal the connection. It's always going to be a five of wands. It's going to be filled with some type of discord. It's going to be arguments. It's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a lot of mishaps. And you know what? Even though this is not the partnership, this masculine or feminine energy is meant to be in, they are fighting for this. 
They're willing to fight for this toxic relationship, even though this is not their two of cups. They're fighting to keep this, but it has a lot to do with the soul tie that they share with this person. It's like it's hard for them to let this energy go, and it's because they're both operating in this double energy. They're both at a very low vibration, but this person is fighting to keep this. Somebody really believes they with the right person, they with their soulmate, and this is their meant to be, but it's not. And I feel like, too, somebody's life is going downhill because of it. Give me an energy for the Six of Pentacles, Aquarius energy on the star, the Queen of Cups. Tell me more. I feel like you brought this person a lot of balance, or you would have. Like you're a giver, you're a nurturer. Things would have been reciprocated in the connection. It wouldn't have been one-sided. But this person is just choosing to give to something else. Give me another energy for the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? What's the energy? You have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like it was time for this person to learn something new, to have a new experience. But for some of you, this person kept going back to the old even if it's a different person it's the same energy somebody just did not know how to walk away from the familiar give me an energy for the moon why is the moon here why is the moon here for the collective what is the energy the sun i'm hearing um the secret to happiness I feel like this person couldn't see how happy they were going to be with you. Leo energy. You were their wish fulfillment. It's giving me like hidden in plain sight energy. Somebody just needed to look a little bit deeper. Somebody just needed to ask more questions, give something more time, and most importantly, trust their intuition. Somebody needed to go through a rebirth here, an awakening. Somebody needed change. Thank you, spirit. Somebody needed to embrace change. Give me an energy for the four of swords. But I definitely feel like you're what this person prayed for. They just weren't ready to receive it. Queen of swords. You're what this person prayed for. Somebody asked for you. They asked for you. But they got confused by this other energy. And went into a karmic partnership. And now it's like this person has a stronghold over them. For some of you too, something has to do with other people working against you. This person could have tried to turn other people against you. That's a very specific message. But I feel like they regret that or they will. Nine of Swords. Following behind somebody who's just very hateful. Who just didn't want to see you and this person partner up together. Be in a higher level of commitment. The Emperor and the Empress. Somebody wanted to sabotage a divine union. Spirit, give me one more final message for the reading. What's the energy? One more message for the reading. What is the energy, Spirit? The Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. This was a spiritual union. You and this person were meant to have Ten of Pentacles, were meant to build together, create together, have a very abundant life, abundant future. And it's not about the material, but abundance, you know, emotionally, spiritually. You were meant to help this person as well for some of you on their path. For some of you too, something has to do with somebody having a secret family or a secret child that's not going to resonate for everyone. Somebody definitely have Pisces highly aspected because we do have it here three times. The moon, the high priestess, the hangman. And the hierophant, empress and emperor at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this was a spiritual connection. You're very enlightened, very gifted. Somebody trusted the wrong person. So these are your messages. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.